Hello and welcome back to the farm. Now I know you guys have missed this place probably almost as much as me, but not quite because I've got two friends over to my right that I've missed very much indeed. That's Charlotte and Jake, my cat and my dog. But yeah, welcome back to the farm. Welcome back to Mahogany Meadows. Now I was going to wait until the shindig was ready to come back to the farm, but I remember there's a few things that I still need to do here in order to finish the place up. One of those is, of course, maybe a kind of squid farming facility. Now that's going to be hard to do because squids are hard to get to spawn how you want them to. Also though, I need to look at bees and into making a large kind of apiary, a large big 3x3 three three high. Also, I want you guys to show your love for Feed the World. If you want me to keep up Mahogany Meadows and just keep on farming and have a shindig, press like right now and we'll get back to the farming. Oh, it's good to be back. Yeah, let's double check the to-do list and make sure that we're on the right track. Now, upgrade the apiaries to alveary. That's what I said, what, that's what I meant when I said upgrade the beehives to a big beehive. Hey, Charlotte, how's it going, girl? You doing good? Meow, meow. Oh, yeah, I wish I had a treat to give you. And, oh, Jake, of course, the loyal dog. Got his head in the wall there. It's a bit silly. It's a bit silly of you, Jake. Oh, well, never mind. Right, so let's take another look at this to-do list and see what we're going to do today. Now, oh, confront straw fingers. I'm going to wait with that because I don't want to I don't want to mess with that guy. Now, the fish farm is how we said we were going to get squids. And, of course, oh, a long grass-breaking farm. Now, there's something I can probably do. But first things first, let's look into getting an alveary upgrade to my beehives. Let's go over here and check how the bees are doing, actually because I haven't seen these guys for a long time. Oh, look at them. Yeah, oh, now one of the problems is there's no sky above these. Now, I went up into the trees and I bashed away some of the uh, some of the leaves so that the beehives can see the sky because if the beehives cannot see the sky, they will not do their bee thing. But it looks like it looks like they're not doing their bee thing anyway. And there's no bees coming through the pipes. Oh, no. Well, let's take a look. Oh, man, look at my inventory. It's so messy. That's crazy. Well, we've got lots of noble drones in these pockets, but it looks like all our queens are gone. That can't be right. That, that's a terrible situation to be in. I might have to go back to B basics to get this all fixed. Well, are there any in this chest? No. Oh, no. Have we, are, we, are we missing all of our queens? I think we might have to start from, the, from scratch with our bees. And that sucks because what we need is um, a certain kind of special bee honey to make our mead. Now, luckily, we've got a tank full of this stuff. Uh-oh, and our seed oil tank is run dry as well. It looks like while I've been away from the farm, all kinds of terrible things have happened. One of those being we've run out of seed oil. So let's go over to the walnut farm that's over here and see if this is still making walnuts. Now, there's no power going through this. And there's no nuts in there. It's got plenty of fertilizer, though, and lots of saplings. So that's not the problem. What is the problem, then? Maybe I just left it, uh, left the server on, and we ran out of oil. So we need to kickstart our chestnut farm by turning on the honey pumps. So let's see what's looking... All oh, right, there's probably not enough lava in here to get these going. I think the switches are already on. Yeah, we definitely have a lava and a honey, honey, uh, honey shortage in these tanks. So I'm going to have to switch these on and get power pumping through our farm. Glug, 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 glug. Let's just watch that go down. Oh yeah, we've got so much honey already though from the bees. That's 187,000, uh, I guess, milliliters because each thousand of these is a bucket. So that's 185 buckets of honey inside here. That's loads, loads of honey. That's more than you could ever put on all the toast you'd ever eat in your life. Right, well, I'll just stop the pump now because that's probably enough honey going into these engines. Oh, and as you can see, yep, that they've started up. Two of them are and now three. And this will get power going to the seed production facility, also known as the chestnut farm. And then we should be back in business pretty soon. Let's take a look. Has it got power? Can't see yet. Supply power. Well, that should get power because it's coming through these conduits. But we won't know until we see chestnuts going through this pipe. So let's just wait here and make sure... Oh, no, look. Manual farms. Hydration required, which has got... Oh, yeah, it's definitely making seeds now. We've just got to wait for these um, for these chestnuts to start coming through the pipe here. Ah, oh, and there we go. The, the farm is back on. Okay. So we're back in Mahogany Meadows and the farm is back in action. Now let's look at upgrading our apiaries 
into an alviary. Right, alviary. That's pronounced alviary. Now, how do you make an alviary? Well, it's a block here, apparently. Now, is an alviary, I think, yeah, it's, it's an impregnated casing and scented panelling. And how do we get scented panelling? Oh, yeah, that's right. We need royal jelly, which means we get, need to get very specific with our bees. We need to breed a certain type of bees, which we're not going to do yet, because that's, that's going to take a long time, especially since we lost all our queens. What we can do, though, is get a long grass breaking farm. And now this is how we're going to get all of the cherries and apples and bananas in the mod. Now I'll scroll over to that page and I can show you exactly all of the fruits and nuts and berries that you can get by breaking long grass in this mod pack. Come on, where is it? Uh, is this it? Don't think so, maybe. Yeah, here we are, look. Bananas, peeled banana. I don't think you get peeled bananas from, uh, from breaking glass, but you get oranges, peaches, pears, and I think these small cherries, strawberries, and blueberries, all from breaking long grass. Now, how do we break long grass? Well, I think we use red power to do that. So let's take a look at what we can use to break, to break long grass. Now, there is a, a thing called a block breaker for red power. Ah, oh, yeah. And that's what we need to do. So that is cobblestone, a piston, an iron pickaxe, and some redstone. So let's see if we can go and get that with the materials we've got in our storehouse. Oh, it's been so long since I've been back to the storehouse. As you can see, the flax farm is doing great too. Oh, yeah, look. And remember, flax is string. So we've always got loads of string if we ever need it. Oh man, look at all this coal we've got. If, if only we had a good use for coal, but at the moment it's just wasting away in here. Now we're going to need some to smelt some of the iron ore that I've got. Although actually, let's go and check our our facility over here. Now this is what we used before to, to, to basically process all of the ores that came through our quarry. But since the quarry's off, I think we depowered all of this. Yeah, that's right. It's not got... Oh, there's some, some obsidian in there, though. And what else is in these machines? Some redstone. Oh, there's some, uh, some redstone energy conduit in here. Right. Some electron blend. And some lead ingots in here. Right, so we'll remember that. And if we ever need any of those, we can come back here and use them. But what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to smelt up some copper. Some iron, rather. So that I can make these block breakers. And now to do that, I'm going to grab some cobble from the cobble chest and make a couple of furnaces. I'm going to put these furnaces... Oh, that's right. You can't drag like you can in the new versions of Minecraft. You've got to remember that Yogcraft is on an older version of Minecraft, so some of the things you can do in the newer versions, you can't do in this one. Right, three furnaces should be fine. I'll throw away... Oh, what can I throw away? Let's see. What is that? A gold nugget? We don't really need that, I don't think. There we go. There we go. Three furnaces should be enough to smelt up all of this iron ore. And we'll put some coal in there too, because you need coal to cook the iron. Oh yeah, lovely stuff. And in the last furnace, here goes the coal. Oh yeah, now we'll use that iron to make pistons and iron pickaxes so that we can make block breakers. Oh, but it's the sun setting, so I'm going to leave that to smelt. And I'm going to call it there for the night. I'm going to have a bit of a snooze and come back and see if I've got enough to make the block breakers. Ah, oh, another glorious night on the farm. Sweet dreams, guys. Oh, oh, I feel so much better now. Oh, a nice refreshing night's sleep. All the monsters have gone. It's all safe on Shin's farm. Mahogany Meadows is A-OK. -okay. Let's just say hello to the pigs. How you doing, pigs? Oink, oink, oink. And the sheeps are going ba-ba-ba. And of course the cows are going moo, moo, moo. Well, moo, moo to you too, sirs. Oh, there's a rogue pig here. Let's just leave him be. Now let's check on our other animals. From Now this, this tree was supposed to turn all of my, our biome into a twilight forest, but it hasn't quite worked. We put down some trees ourselves, and they look pretty cool. One thing I do have a lot of on this farm is different types of trees, and so I was really happy to put down all of the exotic, new, fantastic, oh, look at these rainbow oaks. All of these new kinds of trees. Oh yeah, look at these rams, they're doing great. Those are fantastic horns. Got some warthogs in this, in this pen too, and of course, some deer over here. Now these are a bit cramped actually. I should probably build a large pen so that these gazelles and deer can run free and just have lots more lots, lots more leg room because they're big animals and they like to run. Right, some of the iron has smelted. Oh yeah, this should be plenty to make what we need for our block breakers. 
great. Now I'm just going to dump a bunch of this stuff into a random chest because I don't need half of these things. I'll keep some of the uh, some of the more important things like the diamond. Oh yeah, maze wafer. I'm not sure what that's for, but let's just get rid of most of this stuff because we don't really need it. I'll need some food though, so I'll take the hydro chops. Yum yum yum. Steel leaf we don't really need as well, but we might need it at a later date. Arrows and a bow, they'll always come in handy. But the rest we can just chuck in here. Oh, I'll keep the crescent hammer too, because that's also pretty important. Right, so pistons. How do we make a piston? A lineup of what we need now. We need wood planks. Cobblestone is that. Oh, I don't have cobblestone. That's why it can't go in. Let's grab a stack of this too. And here we go. Piston... Right, so iron in the middle, wood along the top, and cobblestone on the sides. Now, I think this is cobblestone, but it might be stone. And there we go, our oh, piston one, two, and three. That's all we need. Great. Now we've got to build the block breaker itself. So we get a breaker, and it's, what are these things? Projector upgrade, a maze breaker. Wow, I wonder what a maze breaker is. Is that for breaking through mazes? Or does that mean mazes and corn? I don't know. Block breaker, right, piston, iron pickaxe, redstone and cobblestone, no sweat. And last but not least, bam, all right, sweet. So there we, go. there we go, we've got three block breakers. But how does a block breaker work? What I think it does is it breaks the block that it's looking at, it right, it just left clicks it, and um, and yeah, it just, it just yeah, well that, that's, that's, just, that's just what it does. It breaks the block that it's looking at, so what we need is a block to place bone meal on grass, which will make, hopefully, uh, a long grass piece. A block to break it, which we've got, and then a block to suck up whatever's in front of it. Now, we can probably use obsidian pipes for the sake of just, you know, expedience. So I'm going to go back into the warehouse, not back into the storehouse. Now that we've created the block breakers, I'm going to create... Uh, now, what do you use to put down bone meal? I think it's not a transposer. In fact, it's a block that we've used, I think, in the milk facility. So let's go and see what's in there and take a closer look. It's been so long since I played this mod pack. I'm so used to Moon Quest and Space Quest and Galactic Craft that I just, I've forgotten how to farm, guys. It's a bit of a dire situation. Let's take a look. Right, so in here, it's this block right here. Now, what is this thing? I don't know. It's a deployer. Ah, right, so a deployer is what we need. Speaking of milk, though, oh, is this th is this still is this thing still working? Yeah, I think so. I don't see buckets going through here, so the buckets must have just vanished because the server's been up for so long. But we've got two full tanks of milk, so we're never ever ever gonna run out of milk. I tell you what, we will do though. It's getting late, but before we go, I'm gonna go in here, grab some of the cocoa beans, and we're gonna make some milk chocolate. That's right. Oh yeah, some chocolate. I'd love some chocolate right now. Chocolate, chocolate. Right, we're going to make some a, a bottle of chocolate. Now, how do you make a bottle of chocolate? It's a bottle of milk and cocoa beans. Right, so let's just get some bottles and fill these up with the good stuff. White magic. Now, we also need cocoa beans. Have we got any cocoa beans? Because we don't have a cocoa farm. Cocoa? We've only got 20 cocoa beans. Oh, no. So chocolate is a rarity. Now, that reminds me, we're going to have to add to the to-do list cocoa farm. I've got wooden signs. I've got wooden wooden sticks here. So let's just go to the to-do list and add Cocoa Farm to the to-do list. That's pretty important. We've got to get that done. There we go. Three signs. We won't need three. We should only need one because, man, we're running out of things to do. I don't want to give myself more work to do. Okay, right. So a Coco. How do you spell Coco, guys? Can you remember? Is that it? Cocoa? I think so. A Cocoa Farm. There we go. Excellent. Right. So let's go and grab some milk from on top of the milk facility and make some hot chocolate, or rather just some chocolate bottles. Oh, now I'm hungry, so I can't run. I would eat a Hydra Chop, but instead I'm going to save myself for a load of chocolate. I'm going to have a binge on loads of chocolate bottles. Right now, how do we get up? I can't remember. We had a ladder up here before to get to these, um... To get to the to get to the tanks, but we haven't got it anymore. I'm gonna have to nerd pole up for the time being. But remind me to make a way to get to the top of the chocolate factory. In fact, no, I'm not. Don't, don't remind me. I'm gonna do it right now. We're gonna put up a staircase that gets us all the way up there. 
Or in fact, we're going to use ladders, actually. I reckon ladders are a good idea. Right, so we're going to put the ladders over on this side, like this. Doop, 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 doop. And this should get us up, I think, I hope. And, oh, yeah, there we go. Right, so let's get the bottles out and get all the milk that we need. Oh, no, it looks like I need to use buckets instead. Oh, that sucks. Is there no way to get this bottled? Oh, no, I had no idea. Let's just try again over on this one. We've got 720, 720 buckets of milk. That's 720,000 litres. That's crazy. There we go, three buckets of milk. Now I'll get inside the uh, the kitchen and make these bo bottles of chocolate. Right, here we go. So we go to a crafting bench. We put in the milk bottle, or rather the milk bucket, right there. Couple of bottles, and bam, do we get the bucket back? Oh, yes, we do. So we can keep doing this and we won't waste buckets. That's great news. That is fantastic news. And here we go, the last two. And we've got six milk bottles. Now, this is the choc this is the chocolate part, guys. Oh, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean it won't? There we go. Ah, oh, I had it the wrong way around. Here we go. Let's make some chocolate bottles. Six bottles of chocolate. Oh, yeah. Now, what can we do with chocolate bottles? Let's press U on it. And that'll tell us what we can make with it. Right, we can make hot chocolate if we, if we, oh, yeah, let's put it in the furnace. We've got an electric furnace over here, luckily. So let's cook this chocolate and make some hot chocolate. Oh, yeah, let's go and enjoy some hot chocolate with the girl Charlotte and the boy Jake. Oh yeah, there we go, six bottles of hot chocolate. Right, let's go and share this because sharing is caring. Let's go and find our friends, Jake and Charlotte, and have a great evening with some hot chocolate. We can sit around the well and we can exchange some battle stories from all the mini games that we've played, like Mega Walls and, uh, and Spleef. Oh yeah. How's it going, Charlotte? Have a bottle of hot chocolate. On me, girl. There you go. Take... Oh! Oh, you dropped it. It fell behind you, Charlotte. Where's it gone? Where's the bottle gone? Where's it gone? Where's the chocolate gone, Charlotte? Oh, there it is. Oh, whew. I thought we lost the chocolate for a second. Meow! So did you. Right, well, there's your chocolate. Oh, where's it gone now? Oh, oh God. It's doing a weird thing. Right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll look after your chocolate. You too, Jake, because chocolate is poisonous to dogs, so don't ever give chocolate to dogs. Right. Well, bottoms up, guys. Oh, that's delicious. I'm going to have two because it was so good. Right. Well, that's been it, guys, from Fe for Feed the World this episode. We uh, we made some hot chocolate with our milk and our cocoa, and we got some block breakers. Next episode, we'll finish up a grass breaking farm so that we can get cherries and bananas and papayas and oranges and all those wonderful tropical fruit that apparently grow in grass. But I've been Stin, and this has been Feed the World. Hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. So take care.